Matilda, would you like to come over to my house this afternoon? What? You don't ask a student if they want to come over to your house? There are a lot of red flags going up right now. And I'm the only one that gives a fuck about these damn kids. Is it professional to go after school to a thirsty ass school teacher's house? No. I knew something was fucked up with Miss Honey. Do you guys remember when Matilda first walked into that class? I could read him every day. So could I. With her thirsty ass. You fucked up. Matilda will not be put up on the missing board. Not today. Her parents don't give a shit. But I do. The most weird ass scene I've ever seen. Over a book, you guys. And now it has gotten worse. Miss Honey is inviting Matilda over to her house after school. Possibly for tea and honey with scones. Let me catch you with your honey where it's not supposed to be. That's going to be your ass, rotting away in a jail cell. What am I even saying? Honey doesn't even expire. You know what I mean. I'd like that very much, Miss Honey. I just stare very hard. And then my eyes go hot like a real strongness. I feel like I can do almost anything in the world. You do believe me. Oh, I believe that you should believe in whatever power you think you have inside of you. Believe it with all your heart. That's where Miss Trunchbull lives. Damn, Miss Honey! Miss Trunchbull really kicking it in that damn mansion! Why is there a swing? A girl I know used to live in that house. Her life was good and happy. When she was just two years old, her mother died. Her father was a doctor, and he needed someone to look after things at home, so he invited the mother's stepsister to come and live with him. But the girl's aunt was a mean person who treated the girl very badly. A trench bull. Yes. And worst of all, when the girl was five, her father died. How did her father die? The police decided he'd killed himself. Why would he do such a thing? No one knows. The end is happier. She found a small cottage. She rented it from this lovely rhubarb farmer for just $50 a month. And she covered it in honeysuckle. And she planted hundreds of wild flowers. And she moved out of her wicked aunt's house. And she finally got her freedom. Good for her. Do you know why I told you this? No. You were born into a family that doesn't always appreciate you. But one day, things are going to be very different. Should we go inside and have tea and cookies? Yes, please. Okay. This is a cottage from your story. Yes. The young woman is you. Then, no. Yes, and Trunchbull. When I left my home, Aunt Trunchbull's home, I had to leave all my treasures behind. Treasures? Photographs of my mother and father. And a beautiful doll my mother gave me with a china face. Lissy doll, I called her. Would you like some milk? Yes, please. Why don't you run away? I've often thought about it, but I can't abandon my children. And if I couldn't teach, I'd have nothing at all. You're very brave, Miss Honey. <sighs> Not as brave as you. I thought grown-ups weren't afraid of anything. Quite the contrary. All grown-ups get scared, just like children. I wonder what Miss Trunchbull was afraid of. There she is. Shot put. Hammer throw. Javelin.
Really, Miss Trunchbull? How can you be scared of something that is smaller than you and harmless? All he wants is some kibbles and bits. <laughs> he just wants some friskies and a little love, which you can't provide. <laughs> Did you see how Miss Trunchbull kicked Zachary Binks like that? Where'd the SPCA at? Just shock put his ass up into heaven, using up all his lives in one go. She just kicked him like a football. It scored a touchdown. She go into the playoffs. Poor kitty. Let's go get your treasures. No, Matilda. Miss Honey is right, Matilda. Didn't you see the shot she just scored? Well, she's gone. Come on. Matilda. Miss Honey. Move, you piece of junkyard fodder. Shift you. Oh my. My father's portrait used to hang there. Whoever painted the trench ball must have had a strong stomach. A really strong stomach. <gasps> Miss Trunchbull! You know damn well I don't want to see her behind in my face. You have no respect for anyone. And what are you even doing? You are not about to pick up that car. That's impossible. She is lifting that car up right now. How? You could have called the tow. But here you are trying to be little Miss Hercules. She was like, fuck the tow. I am the tow. Like, oh my god, Miss Trunchbull, do you lift cinder blocks all day? That's the only way you can explain this. Period. We should go. Father's chocolate box. After supper, you take a chocolate, cut it in half. And he'd always give me the bigger half. When he died, Aunt Trunchbull had count them so I couldn't even sneak one. She'd take a chocolate, bring it to her lips, and say, Much too good for children. You see, Miss Trunchbull? This is why your teeth is fucked up. You over here chowing down some Lindor truffles. You look like you gained some pounds. You need to slow down. Have one. No, she'd notice. Where's Lissy doll? Upstairs. My dad. What's his name? Magnus. I used to call him Kim Magnus. And he called me Bumblebee. I don't think Magnus killed himself. Neither do I. Is that Lissy Dog? One, one! You! You 
monstrous used car salesman scum. I want you around here now with another car. Yes, I know what caveat emptor means, you low life liar. I'm going to sue you. I'm going to burn down your showroom. I'm going to take that no good job off your soul. Me and shove it up your bazooka. When I finish with you, you're going to look like roadkill. You what? <laughs> What are you? A bloodhound? She over here sniffing the box, trying to find them. There is no reason why she didn't see you up there on the second floor. She must have cataracts or is nearsighted. You saw Matilda run down those halls. Don't act like you can't see now. You need to buy some glasses. Who's in my house? Well, Miss Trunchbull, maybe if you left your door locked, maybe you wouldn't have to jump your ass down to the first floor, knowing you're built of bricks, nearly falling through the floorboards. Was it worth it to destroy the house? Trying to catch some damn kid? In a school teacher? No! Miss Honey's trying to get her damn chocolates back! But you have to overdo it! Come on, fight like a man! Pots and pants on a staircase. That's an accident waiting to happen. You are not safe in this movie. Nowhere. And are those mops and broomsticks as well? That's a walking death trap. Miss Choice will booby trap the damn place. <laughs> She nailed the back door. She was waiting for y'all. This was a trap. She knew the exact time those kids and teachers left. She knew you were coming back to steal back those lend doors. She had to know. Ugh, is that the cake Bruce was chewing on? That's nasty! Yeah. 
you keep eating that cake and them Lindors, you're gonna be big in no time. Taking insulin. She probably got diabetes. She sat her ass down trying to get a quick snack break. She probably got tired of running around the house trying to catch them. You see how she hopped out of the chair? She back on the chase. Look at how fast she going. Slow down. They not going nowhere. You got them cornered. You have the advantage. See, you got weapons on the go. You ready. We get it. She upstairs. Now slow your ass down before you cause another earthquake. You see how she run up the stairs? You better grab Matilda and roll up out of there. She ready. She had her snack. She ready for some dead ass. Period. Today. What? They escaped that damn quick? There should have been at least a struggle or a missing shoe. Matilda was carrying a backpack with books in it. They fast as hell. Did Miss Honey try out for track? That's the only way you can explain this. <laughs> Abby. Had to be your godchild. You over here breaking locks. You a locksmith. She really wants to catch you guys. She breaking all her shit just to get them. Setting all her traps off. Oh, she killing plants now? She don't give a fuck about life at all. Don't get mad now! You knew you lost them! You just want to destroy your own property! For no reason! You just mad! Because you have to clean up! All that damage you did! To that poor house! You deserve it! It's probably gonna cost all your rent money for this month. That chandelier looks very expensive. It's a trimmed crystal. That's around $500. You'll probably need an electrician to fix that. Electricians cost around $50 to $100 per hour. It's gonna take four hours to replace that expensive ass chandelier. $100 times four hours is $400. But you also going to have to get your ceiling sealed from all that fallout damage you did to that poor house. It cost an estimated $320 to $1,300 for fixing drywall ceiling, depending on the damage. That's minor damage. A handyman's gonna have to come in and patch that up for $60 to $90 per hour. And the fee for materials, which is $45. It's going to take two hours to get that ceiling fixed. That's $225 for the ceiling. You also shook the whole house. That's another $500. Because of broken ass household objects that need replacement. You killed 
two bushes and a random ass statue. It costs $25 to $50 per shrub. Landscapers have to come in and plant them. Landscapers cost $50 to $100 per hour. You kill two bushes. That's $100. It's probably going to probably going to take 1 hour for the landscapers to do their job. 1 hour per bush. That's $200. And that statue you destroyed was probably Miss Honey's dad's grave. So I'll call it a random ass angel pillar. That's $15. Your damage total is $1,000. $940. That's almost $2,000 worth of damage. Wow. I hope you're up to date with your house insurance. There is no reason why you should be paying a bill's worth of damage behind a little ass girl and a school teacher. This is ridiculous. Well, everyone, that's going to do it for the Matilda Roasted. Um, sorry, there hasn't been a lot of videos posted. Um, I have been taking time off to experiment with new things and softwares and stuff like that. And um, the next movie I will be roasting is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. In the near future, if there's anything that anybody wants me to roast next, please leave me a, a comment down below and leave a like for more content on this channel. Um, this is a four video roast that I will be creating into a playlist to get more views. And just keep liking. I know that um my Teen Titans Go Rose has gotten three likes now. So the more likes I get, more views that I get. And views help this channel very much to compete with um, other YouTubers who are doing the same thing. I hope to get to at least 10 subscribers. That's what I hope. Just to get a little community going and then just grow from there. But um, thank you for people who are watching and who are viewing these type of videos and I hope to see you guys in the next one again thank you for watching my videos thank you guys for whoever has subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video and until then I'll see you guys later